order. Please sit down. Welcome back to the 12th sitting of the UK Youth Parliament in our House of Commons chamber. Order. The Youth Parliament will now consider the third motion of the day, education and health. Uh, I call the uh, youth member from Yorkshire and Humber in the blue suit, second row. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. I'm Samuel Finn. I'm a member of Youth Parliament for Doncaster in Yorkshire and Humber. Um, education and health is of huge importance to all young people, and it will be for generations to come. As we move towards exam season, our education is at the forefront of young people's future. As, and as we continue to move out of the pandemic, young people countrywide are expressing their need for extra support. By the end of January 2022, 1.54 million young people access mental health support. Clearly, it's still needed, and we need this extra support, and it should be given in schools. Our education system should include history of all people, environment education, and mental health support. But no matter what, our education system should be reformed and improved. Thank you. Parliament will now consider the fifth and final motion of the day, which is on mental health. I call the uh, member from Yorkshire and Humber holding the orange. Yes. Thank you, Madam Deputy C Speaker. My name is Jola Omani and I represent Yorkshire and Humber. In 2017, it was said that one in nine children, according to the health organisation, had been diagnosed with a mental health issue, and it had tripled to one in six by 2021. This just tells you that the schemes that we have in place need to change. Just imagine the young adults that have slipped through the, through the cracks losing their spark. As a generation of people that want to change, let's stop talking about the changes and put it into motion. There are three topics we need to talk about. This is the waiting scheme. It's an, imag an unimaginable, ma uh, unimaginable maze that, has, that needs to be put straight. We are playing with human lives here. We need, we need a scheme where people get urgent help, but to do this, we need more staff. Our staff are struggling. We've had schemes like this done before, for example, like um, the, the HIV campaigns to stop the stigmas of mental health, the first aid trainings that we have seen in secondary schools and universities. The third thing, they, they have said in government they are placing £150 million to mental health, yet we are not seeing the outcomes. Us as a group need to demand this change and need to make schemes that benefit us. Let's not fail each other. I now have the uh, results of the uh, vote that you have just taken, and the results are as follows. The first debate, impact of discrimination on health, 24 votes. Environment and health, 29 votes. Education and health, 51 votes, cost of living and health, 102 votes. <laughs> and mental health, 30 votes. <laughs> and that means that um, your, the uh, Youth Parliament campaign for next year will be on cost of living and health. I can also confirm that cost of living and health will be launched as a House of Commons petition and if it reaches 100,000 signatures, it will be considered for debate in the House of Commons. <laughs>